Hey, what's up guys? Camp and Russia here. Welcome back everybody to another Fortnite video. This is the second video of update night. It's currently 3.30 in the morning. I got my hat backwards because why not switch it up? I don't know. Today we're talking about the combat shotgun. We're talking about a brand new shotgun coming to the game soon. We're talking about new emotes, fort nightmares, consumables, a rideable broom, and, and just a bunch of stuff. This is a massive video. Stick around for the entire thing for me. And also touch that like button for this guy right here. Yeah, we're back to the bribes. Before we jump into it, I just want to let you guys know that I'm doing a member gaming session later tonight. If you want to become a member, you can use the link in the description. If you're on mobile or if you're on PC, you can just hit the join button. Uh, we're going to be doing some squads, some creative. We'll be jumping in a call and just filming some gameplay for the background of these videos. I'd love to see you there. Thanks for supporting the videos. Here we go. Combat shotgun. It got buffed, of course. Here's what happened. Old damage to new seven. It basically increased seven on the rare, epic, and legendary. Uh, of course, the headshot uh, increased relative to that as well. And uh, I haven't had a chance to play. I'm not going to play tonight. It's too late. I need to get some sleep. But first thoughts. What are your thoughts on the uh, on the combat buff so far? Is it the new best shotgun? Only thing I've seen so far is Click's tweet. The new shotgun is OP. The new combat shotgun is OP. Uh, but of course, it's only been like 20 minutes. So who knows? 20 minutes since downtime or 30 minutes, something like that. Uh, so who knows how it's actually holding up? But a lot of people are happy about this. The combat shotgun was next to useless uh, before this patch. So we'll see what happens here. Alert from Mango. New variables have been added. Boats and choppers may now run on fuel. This was a feature being worked on last update. We'll have to see if it is live in the game. So this seems to be done. Uh, I just don't know if it's fully added yet. Let me know in the comment section if you're noticing it in game. Uh, if it's not added this update, it should be added in the next. Basically the best thing is that the choppers just can't stay in the air uh, for the entire length of a game, right? Uh, which, which can sometimes be a problem. I'm all for it. I think it's a good balance change and uh, we'll, we'll see, we'll keep you updated. This is a big one at the authority. Midas's gold chair is back. Now, if you're a fan of, the, of these videos, a subscriber to the channel, of course, you know all things Fortnite, right? That's our, that's our go-to line. And we've discussed this. There is an undead Midas boss with possibly a mythic weapon. He's going to have some ghostly henchmen uh, coming for the Fort Nightmares update either next week or on the 28th. All right, we're not sure on the, the release date for Fort Nightmares, but Midas is coming back and he's already being teased. But it, it's, a, it's an undead Halloween-themed version of him with his Halloween-themed uh, henchmen. So well, we'll see. I can't wait to uh, see what he looks like and uh, how powerful he is, if he's going to have a mythic item things like that. Speaking of mythic items, the Black Panther kinetic armor ability is in game right now. It's in regular games. You can find it. Uh, so the Black Panther, we weren't sure in my previous video, by the way, check that one out after this one. If you haven't seen it, there's a lot of good info. I uploaded it earlier this morning. Uh, but with that being said, we weren't sure, uh, because there was, there was a weapon ID and the files added to it. But you can. You can get the Black Panther ability. Here's Galactus in game. I put this in the thumbnail of the last video because we talked about it. But once downtime ended, you can look up into the sky and you can actually make out the Galactus figure. Uh, he's getting closer, man. The live events on the horizon. Uh, we didn't get any more info about the lobby event. There was a high tower uh, event added to the files th this update. But no further info on it. Some type of uh, mini event I think will be happening this week. And uh, we'll wait and see. There's a new encrypted candy bucket emote. Sitting while eating a bucket of candy. <laughs> Can it get any more toxic, ladies and gentlemen? As long as the sound's not too bad. But it's just, you know, you, you clap someone. You hit a nice headshot, a little 200 pump. And then you rip out the candy... Uh, the candy bucket and just eat it right in front of him, right on his uh, eliminated body. That could be pretty toxic. That might get under my skin if someone does it to me. I got to be careful when I say that because I know I'm going to jump into the member session and I'm going to have five guys rocking this thing when it comes out just to make fun of me. New LTM TakeOver 8v8. Basically an 8v8 game mode or 8v8 version of TakeOver uh, should, uh, should be coming to the game very soon. We've also got some Halloween decorations appearing around the map as usual in preparation for Fort Nightmares. I'm showing you pictures uh, right now as we go through it. 
And one thing we've noticed with this update is there there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of news. There's a lot to talk about, but there's not a lot of ac uh, actual stuff that occurred in game. It, it's a big preparation update. It almost seems. And uh, yeah, but of course there's a lot of news. I mean, this video's filled. Last video's filled. I'll have another video out uh, probably within 12-ish, 16 hours, uh, with even more. So there's a lot going on, but not a lot actually changed in game. It's a lot of preparation. Uh, I think Fort Nightmares is going to be massive, man. I, I really do. It looks like they're putting a lot of work into this one. And uh, I've got some more, more evidence to, to support that here a bit later in the video. Before we go any further, just a quick reminder to subscribe to the channel. It's easy. It's free. Turn those notifications on. Get here early. Helps a lot with the YouTube algorithm. Also sticking around for the entire video. That helps even more. So if you're still here, thanks a lot. Okay, some interesting strings from Fire Monkey. Unlock the exclusive J Balvin style for Party Trooper by attending one of his Party Royale concerts. So that's one of them. Squad eliminated, respawning together. And then player finished number two. So the big one there really is the J Balvin. Apparently J Balvin is a singer. And uh, this of course means we're going to be getting some type of concert in Party Royale and you will be able to get a, a style for a skin for attending at some point. So we'll get a date for this uh, soon, but yeah, expect that uh, in the very near future. Fire Monkey here. I've been seeing reports that for whatever reason, Epic Games is allowing people to refund the Spike NFL outfit without using a refund token. Not sure what changed, uh, but he did end up figuring it out, and it's because of the Washington football ski or team. They, uh, the real team, they, they changed their name, right? They're no longer the, the Redskins. There was a lot of controversy with the name, so I, I guess they got rid of it. And because of that, they have taken the Redskins logo off the, the style in, in Fortnite. And because they've altered the product that you purchased initially, they're giving you a chance to refund it. So uh, I don't know how many people are actually gonna do it. I think the NFL skins and any uh, skin, like the soccer skins, customizable skins like that, uh, I just think they're they're so valuable, right? You, you get so much for, for, for a little price relative to other, you know, you get 2000 V-Bucks skins and you only get one style, whereas this you get countless. Uh, so I don't know if a lot of people are be, will be doing that, but at least it's an option if, uh, if, if that was the sole reason you purchased it was for the Redskins logo, uh, then maybe you'll maybe you'll refund the thing. We'll see. All right, let's talk about some new items, some new consumables, and uh, some new mechanics that, that are going to be out of the game uh, very soon, it seems. First, Mango, a new sniper has been added to the data tables. I think it is a reworked buffed crossbow that will be returning for Fort Nightmares, and those are some of the stats for you. You can see them. Uh, so yeah, new, I mean they always bring back the uh, the crossbow. It doesn't usually do too well, but this one's reworked, so you can kind of look there. Fire rate's very quick, even though the damage is low. Uh, so this yeah, this one's going to be a, a, a lot different than what we're used to crossbow wise. I'm excited to check it out. We'll give it another chance. All right, usually it's pretty uh, pretty underpowered, but that's okay. There's a honey pot jar that got added under consumables. That's what it looks like. Not too sure what it's going to do, how it's going to work. <laughs> Everyone's replying with Winnie the Pooh memes underneath. <laughs> Is this going to be a Winnie the Pooh collaboration, everyone's saying. <laughs> Dude, they're reaching just as much as I usually do, except I'm a Fortnite news YouTuber, right? I'm supposed to do that. Uh, upcoming consumables from Hypex, the W Broom, Pepper Ming, Hop Drop, Candy Corn, Jelly Bean, and Thermal Taffy. So that's a lot, a lot going on there. Not sure what each of them are gonna do. Take your guesses in the comment section below. One of them we might know though, and that is the broom. Hypex goes on to say here, we may get brooms as mobility in this Fort Nightmares. There's a consumable code name called broom and a loot box called broom box. Uh, so we might be able to fly around just like Harry Potter, right? Quidditch, that's what I think right away. Uh, man, I, I hope so. We haven't had a new uh, mobility. I guess cars. Cars are kind of recent, but I don't know, man. I've, I've said it so much. One of my favorite times in Fortnite was the Ballers, right? What a unique, creative um, vehicle that they added. Mobility item. So I hope the broom is, is unique in, in, in its own way. It's kind of redundant. Unique in its own way. Unique 
and, uh, and it's fun to use, right? So expect that for Fort Nightmares again, whenever that, that update does come. And then finally here, there's also an unfinished shotgun that got added this update with the code name Swing. And man, I don't know, how are they gonna do another shotgun? I think they still have the, the Dragon shotgun in the files that they haven't released yet. So this is a brand new one. Uh, they've got two shotguns on the go now. Uh, and possibly looking at a, uh, a season five different shotgun meta. They already switched the meta up this, uh, this patch with the combat buff, and now we're already looking at uh, something else that's new. Um, so hopefully we get some stats and info on that by the time I upload my next video. Usually we have stats uh, kind of the next day. Everyone's heading to bed, as I should too. 3.45 in the morning, get this edited and uploaded and I'll be asleep by 5, 5.15. Why am I telling you that? To make you feel bad, so you like the video. Use code the Camp and Rusher and subscribe. <laughs> I can barely keep my eyes open, man. I gotta guilt you into it a little bit. Thanks a lot for sticking with me. If you're still here, like I said, it helps more than you know. YouTube loves it, I love it. Hopefully you love it, hopefully you love the video. Thanks for being here, everybody. Take care, talk soon, I'll see you in a bit. Goodbye.